I'm now going to show you how to use the group headers in the C Electrical V8R2 report generator. So we're going to go to File, Report Generator, and then we're going to create a new report. This time it's going to be for the terminals. And we've got a query which we're just going to paste in there, which when we go to next, it just gives us a list of alias uh, fields. So the first thing we're going to do is set the data member to table. And that's important when we're creating group headers. Otherwise, they won't break and, and repeat. Um, the next thing we're going to go down to the detail section and we're going to add a table there of information for the terminals. So we'll go to fields, extend this and we'll just keep it basic. We're going to go from target, scroll down the list, choose the terminal number and then choose two. So this alias uh, query in the background is very useful for giving us that information straight away. Next, we'll just double check that actually, makes that look a bit better. There we go. So the next thing we're going to add some group sections. There's several ways of doing this, but the first is to add a group and put that as being a particular section. So we could say that this is the, um, the function. Okay, and then we could add to that we could add location and finally we could add to that a separate one for the terminal strip and we only perhaps need a group header for one of those so we've now got a group header for all of these so if we just have a group header for this last one for terminal strip we should find we've got a group header 3 in there So in this group header, basically it will have filtered out the uh, information and repeated for each of the uh, previous sections. So what we can do in the commands there is find a table, drag this in, and we can go to, if we want to, add the function location. It will all automatically break without us doing this, but we can add function location and then the terminal strip. Now let's just check on the print preview. The information we're getting there and we can see that we've got the first one and then you get a new heading each time the terminal strip or the functional location changes so that's working out nicely um, what we can do with both of those let's just minimize that for the time being um, we can select all of those and in the formatting change the borders to all We could perhaps change the alignment to center and maybe for the top one we can highlight that a bit by giving a, a custom background and maybe move those across a little bit just to position them a bit better so in the preview we've now got the terminal strip with a list of the terminals now at the moment they may not be sorted in the correct way so one thing we can do on the details section is to use the sort fields into the collection and we can add a field which we're going to use for sorting in this case the terminals have a sort order which is actually called in this case uh, terminal order click on OK and we just double check print preview and that's now coming in a different order which is the order defined within the schematic so of course we can add all the descriptions and part numbers and everything else but this is a very basic way of adding group headers and arranging the sorting.